guys Papa Pepper back again periodically I like to do short little informative educational uh, nature videos just with some of the different creatures I enjoy this one's actually the freshwater sculpin and these guys I've been enjoying since I was a child and I'm just gonna get some footage of them under the water and explain to you a little bit about these incredible fish so this one's a smaller one and they really don't get very big not sure how well you guys can see that but I'll show you a slightly larger one as well that my boy just happened to catch down here at the stream. So here's a quick look at these two guys outside the water. You'll notice they're a very flat-headed, big-headed fish, and uh, they actually live on the bottom. Across the world there's actually almost 800 different species, and there's a number of them obviously in the ocean, and then also freshwater sculpins. These ones, the ones I've always encountered, they're pretty much across North America, and a lot of times they'll be in trout streams and places like where there's nice flowing water. A lot of times they're very cold water uh, streams. And these guys are ambush predators that'll sit there on the bottom and eat small aquatic insects, um, baby like crayfish and stuff, the little crustaceans you're gonna find. Um, some people claim they eat trout eggs. I'm not sure if they actually do. And they're also going to be a, uh, a food source for things like trout, smallmouth bass, and other fish living in those streams. With these species, um, a lot of them rarely get over six inches. So they're very small camouflage fish, and I'll show you some footage of them in the water. You'll see how camouflaged they actually are. I think my first memory of the freshwater sculpin was finding them in the small trout stream behind my parents' house. And compared to so many of the other freshwater fish I was used to, to see this strange flat-bottomed bottom dweller, extremely camouflaged with pectoral fins, you know, able to hug the bottom even in swift current, was a very peculiar fish to find. And if you think about the fact it only grows to a few inches, um, the larger species get up to maybe seven inches or so. Most of the ones I've encountered were about two to four inches. But they play an important part in the food chain too, as they gobble up the smaller creatures like various aquatic insects, and small crustaceans, and maybe even trout eggs. And then as they feed off of those, many of the larger fish, like various species of trout or smallmouth bass, feed on them. They're incredibly fast when they want to be, which is why it's often hard to locate them in the first place. Uh, when they're really still in camouflage, they're hard to see, and if you do see one and they dart even five or six feet away, especially in quick moving cold water streams or rivers, you know, they're almost impossible to, to find again. And that was part of the challenge always as a child, trying to find them and capture them. Um, certainly caught enough of them barehanded, but nets do make it much easier. So people don't even know how many of these exist as far as various different species since they live both in the ocean and in the freshwater, even across North America. There's so many different variations that get listed as different species. People don't even really know how many different kinds there are. They're definitely a very interesting looking fish. One of the ones that I've enjoyed my whole life. And it's nice to be able to catch them now with my children, these two here were actually caught by my uh, oldest son. He had caught one and I said, hey, I should feature this in my uh, Wild Man's Wild Friends. Share a little bit of information about it quick. And um, then he caught another one too. So it's good to have a couple, multiple individuals to kind of show some of the variation within the kind. So they're a small camouflage little fish that's gonna live in a lot of cold water streams and rivers. Um, they're gonna play an important role in the ecosystem and in the food chain. And they're certainly a, a treat to find and something we've definitely always enjoyed. So that's the freshwater sculpin. So the freshwater sculpin, guys, just another one of the wild man's wild friends. You ever see one out in the wild? And now you'll know what it is and what it does. Pop out. 
As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.